Again, maybe the Tesla doesn't have to confirm tomorrow, but I'm watching the Tesla, I'm watching Netflix, I'm watching uh, Square. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, a Tuesday edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody had a really uh, good uh, day of trading. Uh, you know, most nights when I'm doing my research, I, you know, I, I always play devil's advocate. Um, I look at a lot of, you know, a lot of charts and a lot of groups. I just want to confirm uh, my sentiment to tomorrow. Obviously, um, looking at a daily chart and understanding the macro environment is very important, but you usually kind of want to go through the general landscape. Um, I, I don't think tonight is that type of night. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I personally don't think the narrative uh, in this market has changed. Um, the NASDAQ is incredibly strong. Uh, there's certain times uh, of the interval or in your career or, or your week or your month, whatever the case may be, that you can literally take everything for face value. And right now, it is what it is. The market is just very strong. The queues are just taking out all time highs. Um, I believe that before we get any type of pause, right, maybe a little bit of pregnant pause or work stoppage uh, in strength will be somewhere around this 352 level uh, on the queues. Does it have to get there in a straight line? Absolutely not. But the more, the more you trade in this type of environment and realize that every dip, especially uh, since we reclaimed uh, several weeks ago, the 50-day moving average, literally everything is being uh, bid up. And the strong names continue to be stronger. Uh, NVIDIA, Roku, uh, Amazon, Facebook, Apple. You know, we'll get to individual pivots in a second. A lot of really uh, strong moves. But the, the, the names that you want to kind of look for in your daily or nightly preparation are the stocks that haven't gone yet, right? The names that haven't really confirmed their channels, but they're imminent. And there's a lot of names every single day, whether they're the traditional beta names that we trade or they're, you know, the second tier names that we've been, you know, kind of covering for the last several days, you know, the AYXs of the world, a lot of names that nobody even knows uh, they're alive, but they're, they're doing very, very well. And the longer the distribution, especially off a of bottom channel coming out of it and reclaiming macro areas, the higher potential the stock is going to move. So when you have uh, distribution uh, in names like Zoom for several days, when you have uh, distribution, for example, that we talked about last night in the video on Apple, next leg up, the, the more the rest, the more that they could deflect negativity and really stay afloat and keep their levels when the market is selling off, those are the days that when there is strength in the macro environment, they all start screaming. And you saw that with Amazon, with NVIDIA, with Apple, with Facebook, uh, countless others. Uh, Microsoft is still, an, uh, Microsoft is still uh, an absolute monster. So you could go through the NASDAQ 100. They're really not uh, you're, they're really not too hard to find. There's only 100 stocks. And the point is, you don't have to be uh, very, very creative for tomorrow's session. You know, look at the names that are strong, right? The names that are you know, really, really breaking out, like the apples of the world, right? You don't want to use Apple as strength. You want to buy it into rising 60 minutes support. If you did that for the last week or so, ever since it came out of this uh, 128 and a half, 129 channel, you've been golden. Every dip in Amazon since it broke out above this 3300, 3312 has literally been bought up uh, literally every single time and really defended this five day moving average. So names like Microsoft, uh, that goes to the same thing as well. But there's a lot of names that are really busting out. A name like Space that saw crazy call volume today, like all over the place, the 40s, the 50s, uh, all over the place. Uh, a name uh, like Root coming off the bottom of the range here. We started seeing 12 and a half uh, calls being going. Jivo, right? A name, again, not a lot of people, you know, not a lot of people trade. But again, when you're starting to see uh, $10 calls with an $8 stock with short-term expiration, those are the names you're probably going to have to pay attention to for the next day. But names, for example, like a Netflix, and there was a really, really big move today on Netflix. And this is the first time, just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, that you don't have to be too creative. I think this is the first time that Netflix has been on my watch list for the next day since my mother-in-law maybe babysat, you know, little, uh, little Moses. 
you know, back in the day before he parted the Red Sea, right? This is how long Netflix hasn't been on watch for a while. Even though Tesla is, you know, hasn't broken out yet, you could see how tight this thing is getting. I'm telling you, if this environment continues, it will be just a matter of time that this Tesla confirms the 50-day moving average and absolutely explodes. It feels like it's going to happen every single day, and you're getting call volume, right? You're getting 650 weekly, 650 for next week. You're getting the call volume action. Now it just needs price per share movement in that direction to confirm the range. So there's a lot of names that look really good. Square is starting to set up uh, as well. That looks really good. Um, Facebook has just been an absolute monster. Again, this is the ultimate stock you want to buy on dips. You can't buy, you can't buy, there's certain stocks you can't buy into strength. you got to buy these things into dips, whether it's 60 or macro support. Uh, but, the, but the names are setting up for tomorrow. Roku uh, continues to be an absolute monster ever since it broke out uh, above this 354 level and confirmed this uh, 349. Look at this thing. I mean, you know, just absolute monster. We saw the 400s trade today. We saw the 420s uh, trade today. And again, if you were wondering where they're getting those 420 measure potential, it's right here. It's the linear regression line. So again, tonight, it's just one of those nights that you don't have to over dissect the market. Okay. You don't have to dive knee deep into it and start looking at uh, 600 charts and trying to figure out uh, different areas, whether they're expensive, whether they're cheap. Uh, if you trade technology and if you trade beta, you know, it's right in front of you, right? If you do your homework, it'll take you literally five to seven minutes uh, to go through 100 charts uh, to really get a good watch list for tomorrow. And if any of these things start confirming the top of the channels, uh, whether 60 or a daily, you know, you're going to have continued uh, strength in the market. And that's it, right? This is probably the most straightforward uh, less complicated. We don't need to play devil's advocate. The market is strong. Uh, stocks will continue to rise. And I know that's a very generic statement, but usually I don't make a statement like that. I'm usually looking at the other side of the trade. And obviously anything's possible. And tomorrow night we could be having a conversation saying, well, who the hell could have seen this 500 point decline in the NASDAQ coming? Everything was so bullish the night before, right? That's the curveball. That's always on the table. So you can't be naive to think they can't pull the plug at any time. But again, gravity is real and the market doesn't need to tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, by the way, you're about to get killed on your sentiment. And oh, by the way, your money's going to go uh, to zero hell in the handbasket scenario. So you have to be always conscious of the worst case scenarios. You always want to keep an eye, especially on names in the morning that get upgrades that don't follow through. That's usually the first sign that buyers are tired. Uh, we didn't get that today. We, know we did not get that today. Uh, we didn't get that in any names uh, that were leaders. And that's always a good sign. When the buyer strike comes, they usually negate good news. They usually negate good earnings. They usually negate uh, upgrades and stuff like that and usually sell uh, stuff off. So yeah, I mean, we're bullish, right? We're definitely bullish uh, going into tomorrow's session. Um, you know, I'm trying to avoid the names that are super extended, right? Like the Amazons of the world or, or the Roku's of the world. Roku just had a phenomenal four day run uh, or even a name like NVIDIA, but we're watching Tesla. Again, maybe the Tesla doesn't have to confirm tomorrow, but I'm watching that Tesla. I'm watching Netflix. I'm watching uh, Square, right? I'm watching those names that potentially could be pulled up by the strength of the overall uh, technology sector. And that's it. I mean, that's pretty much it. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about today's pivots. Uh, very, very strong moves in secondary names, uh, names that we covered uh, for the last several days that you know we were watching, and they made their secondary moves. Uh, AYX, we talked about it last night in video, uh, 86 needs to build. We've been watching this flag here for several days. Uh, here's the 86, right? 86, I said there's a shot against the 89. Well, that's the high day, 89 and a quarter, really nice move on AYX. Excuse me, I opened up the wrong browser. Um, letter U, right? Letter U had a nice pivot yesterday off that 106, 107 level. Uh, 110 needs to build, right? Here's letter U, right? If you guys see it, it, it it's the common denominator. They're all coming out of bottom channels, right? If you look at AYX, right? Look what the strength is. AYX is coming off the bottom. Letter U, right? It's coming off the bottom area. Again, it took out the 110 today, uh, traded to about 112. I still like this thing. They were coming for uh, short-term expiration, the 120 and the 125 calls. I don't think this uh, story is told. I still think this thing goes higher. Uh, BCRX never, you know, never triggered the 1690.17. HUSA only went up a couple of pennies. It died. This thing went absolutely nuts. Uh, congratulations for all you guys who caught uh, DDD. Again, 3D printing uh, 2950, 2970 needs to build. And to say that this damn thing exploded is probably the under 
uh, statement of the day. So it took out the 29. Uh, 50, 29, 70, and all it did went is almost went to thirty-nine dollars. It's an absolute uh, explosion. Uh, wish nice follow through on Wish earlier in the in the morning. Uh, Fourteen needs to build. Went to like fourteen fifties. I still like it, but I would love to see a dip in this thing. The volume yesterday was ridiculous, right? Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it kind of rested today. I would love to see a dip in the next couple of days to this rising five day. Because again, those three hundred fifty million shares, man. You can't be discounted, right? If we can get a dip into rising five-day support and trap some eager shorts there, I think it could start swinging back up. But again, only a 50 cent move there uh, for day two move. Uh, Apple, uh, beautiful, beautiful move. Uh, 132.60 needs to build. Here is Apple, right? The 132.60 built, it went to 134. That's kind of where it is right now. We saw a short-term expiration in the 137, 138, 139. So. Uh, this thing looks good. Again, remember, buy this thing into dips, not into uh, strength. Uh, Bumblebee, 30, uh, 53, 80, 54 needs to build. Not a huge move, but uh, Bumblebee is going in the right direction. I still like this thing. Uh, it took out the 53, 80, 54, uh, went to like 55. I still like this thing higher. I, again, especially if the market uh, continues to grind. Uh, NVIDIA, just a beast. Uh, NVIDIA rejected three times, 747 needs to build. Here was NVIDIA, you know, just, just an absolute monster. NVIDIA uh, traded all the way up to 758. Uh, again, it's just, they're just running this thing ahead of the split. Uh, Tesla, I took Tesla, uh, I took Tesla, and you know, it just didn't do anything. I pretty much broke even on it. I still like it for macro. I, I do. I still like it for macro. It just wasn't ready today. Uh, Roku, if you've been kind of watching this video for the last even just three days, you can see big, big moves in Roku. Uh, 386 needs to build for experienced traders only, just because, again, it's a little overextended before the day, had a big run, so be careful. You really didn't need to be careful because this damn thing uh, took out the 386 and literally went straight up. I don't think there was a downtick in this thing. Uh, they were coming for the 400s. They came for the 420s. Stock went uh, all the way up to almost uh, 406. Just a huge, huge move on Roku. Just been an absolute monster. Uh, DDD, forget about 31. This thing went to 30, uh, almost 36. Uh, they're coming for the $15 calls, blah, blah, blah. Only went up 50 cents. Uh, AYX, 86 take on the way. Went to 89. Uh, Roku, again, take on the way up. Uh, 400 and 420s on deck, uh, 112 on deck. Uh, I took a piece of this trade as well, only made like 40 cents or so, but SSYS, uh, 2480 needs to build. Actually ran up to like 26. Um, again, it's just a little, little bit of a thinner trader, but uh, you know, again, cash flow is cash flow, same group uh, as DDD, uh, take on the way up. Netflix, this was the you know big monster here, 505 uh, needs to build. And not only did it build 505, now it's setting up uh, for a macro move. So it took out this whole channel here at 505 and stopped right at the macro supply at 513. If this thing confirms, man, and this thing confirms the 50 day moving average, this thing's going to start a really, really aggressive leg up. So let's definitely keep an eye on uh, Netflix. So big moves. I mean, really, really big moves today uh, in a lot of names. Um, yeah, everything is waking up. 512 is macro, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of juice, right? A lot of juice in the tape. And the most important part is, again, have a game plan ready for tomorrow. Pretty basic. Don't get too creative. Take the names that you want to trade. If you're not looking at Netflix, don't, you know, if you don't plan on trading Netflix, don't look at Netflix. If you don't want to look at Square, don't look at Square. Just take the names that you feel comfortable. And the most important part is trade it with a lot of confidence. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. And I will see you all tomorrow.